So we have a question on how do you distribute secret shares without knowing who to distribute them to to start with? Well, in some sense, you can think of the MPC engine as, for example, being in the cloud, but you don't know exactly which computer is actually going to be doing your computation for you. But it doesn't really matter because each computer has got some sort of public key, some sort of identity to it. So you could take the value you want to secret share, you split it into two, and then you encrypt one for one public key and one for the other, but you don't really have to know what their endpoint entities are because the secret keys for those public keys will be on the places where they need to go. I've got a question now from a student who wants to know whether they should study classical cryptography before going on to study things like quantum key distribution or what's called quantum cryptography. It's a very good idea to understand classical cryptography first because by understanding classical cryptography, you actually understand what the security problems are that cryptography tries to solve. One finds that there's lots of people doing work in quantum key distribution who really have no knowledge of what the basic problems in cryptography are. So what happens is, is they try to solve problems that aren't actually problems. And if they'd studied cryptography first, they'd be able to realize that what they're doing might not make the most sense. I want to share with you how I got involved in startups. So I was, as a cryptographer, what you have to do is you want to really get your algorithms out into the real world. And one of the main vehicles you can use for doing that is by forming a small company, so-called in a Silicon Valley speak, a startup. So uh, I'm now a founder of a company called Unbound, which is trying to deploy new ideas in multi-party computation to a wide range of applications. But that's not the first startup I had. The other startup I had was uh, something called Identum, which was in the mid 2000s, we were doing something called identity based encryption. And that was kind of where I got the startup bug. And then when we kind of had the idea that multi-party computation could really get deployed and used in lots of different ways. I was kind of first on that bandwagon with my co-founders to form the company Unbound.